Hey guys, welcome to CCTN. I have something to show you. I opened my door today, this morning, and this box was sitting in front of my door. I messed up. I don't know how I'm going to fix it or if I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to tell you what happened. I have been eyeballing Pat McGrath palettes. And I have put one of them in my cart. I was going to wait for the Sephora um, Rogue Cell. And I got an email. Excuse me, my eyes are tearing horribly. I got an email that she was having a 25% off site-wide sale. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I asked a few people, what would you recommend I get? Somebody put, don't do it. And I'm like, uh-oh. And somebody else suggested one. And somebody else suggested another one. And so I went on the website and I looked at the palettes and I put two in my cart and in my mind I'm thinking, okay, 25% off, so it should be around, you know, a certain dollar amount. And the dollar amount was higher than that, but being sleepy, and I know I said in a previous video, I need to stop shopping when I'm sleepy. I was just, I disregarded it. And so when I received the email saying, oh, thank you for your order. I'm like, there's three pallets in there? I had forgot one of them was already in my cart. And so I have three. And <laughs> so we're going to see. I don't know. So the one, this is a bubble wrap. I have not opened any of these. I have not seen any Pat McGrath in person. I've only seen them on YouTube and on websites. Excuse me for shaking. This is the one that was already in my cart. I didn't realize it was. Tape shut. Because the other two are not tape down. So this is the one. <laughs> that was in my cart already that I forgot was in my cart. So we're gonna see what happens, because do I need three? And for those of you who collect the palettes, of course you're probably saying, yes, you do. Need to keep all three. This is the, oh, let me read it, it's long. Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. And the reason this one is flaking the reason I had my eye on this one is because I didn't have any of her other palettes. I have none from her until now. And I do enjoy my all matte Viseart and my all matte Natasha Denona palette. So I said, you know, I can just pair that with this and the Natasha Denona Camel palette, which is a five pound, five pan, which is small. I said, I can just pair that with this. Let me hold it this way. Where am I doing that? And so... I figured this will be a way to try 18 of her shadows for a low price, low for her. And you guys know what this look like. You've seen it on YouTube. So, <sighs> this has a crack in it. I know you cannot see it, but there's a crack right here, going from here to here. The shadow is fine and there's like another little scratch like an indent right here this one bronze seduction so I'm gonna be playing with these and just see what's what <laughs> see if I get on board with the hype or not and you guys know what this one looks like See my air vent? Yeah, there we go. I'm liking this one because I am drawn towards like the neutral warm tones. And I think that's why somebody recommended this, not knowing if I do like color or not, or subtle color or bold color, which I do like both bold and subtle colors. And this one is subversive. Okay, I just noticed something strange. 
This one has plastic over it. This one does not. That's strange. So then I'm like, okay, is that new or did somebody return it? This still has the plastic on it. So, um, this one didn't have that. And this one is dusty. And this is subversive. And so we're going to see... I've been looking on YouTube at different looks to see um, and I'm going to recreate some and get a feel for these palettes and excuse my mood my mood um I know I said that funny I have a migraine and I took a migraine medicine so it has me feeling kind of loopy so that's why I'm not really excited like Pat McGrath these are my first Pat McGrath palettes oh my gosh and to have three of them and so I do realize I'm just kind of like eh. <laughs> But um, I am excited to dig in and see if I end up on the Pat McGrath train or not. And so I will definitely be posting looks. And I will do a playlist like I do for mostly everything I do on here. <laughs> and you will see me in the next video. Comment below what your favorite, well I should say your top three favorite Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes are. Because I know she has so many and most people have a lot of them. So what are your favorites? out of the ones that you have and feel free to post your looks below and I'll check them out and so you'll see me in the next video thanks bye